All right, officially day one, because technically it was day zero of car week. Here's our Airbnb for two nights. We have our Cadillac Escalade. We're doing an early morning grocery run in the Raptor. And um, yeah, apparently we're like 30 feet down from the beach. It's somewhere down that way. Maybe we'll go find, find the water or something. What do you say, Justin? Uh, no, let's, let's get it. All right. <laughs> You couldn't have gotten a little bit closer there, but it's okay. <laughs> now we need to find some eggs. Yes, we have found what we're looking for. Some nice eggs. I'm gonna stack up for the morning. Let's see, peach mango steen, named after myself, of course. Snapple apple, and I'll do another mango steen. All right, I've got my chips, Snapple, back in the Raptor. This is breakfast for the day. Okay, it is day one. We had breakfast, but we're pretty hungry, so we're gonna have another breakfast. We're at this local Mexican taco spot, and uh, yeah, we're gonna get some tacos. All right, this is it for our fat asses. Breakfast number two, tacos. Okay, guys, so just like that, we've had our two breakfasts. Uh, we're pretty stuffed, and we are on our way into Monterey because we're seeing a bunch of cars unloading. Uh, there's a lot of different supercars, hypercars, all sorts of stuff. We're very excited. So I'm with my friend Max Berger. Check him out on Instagram, definitely. Say hi, Max. Hey, guys. Okay, yeah, he's just going to say hi. And anyway, we're on our way into town in the Cadillac Escalade. Oh yes, it's a reliable carrier. That means it's car week. You join us here deep somewhere in the Monterey Hills. I'm in this beautiful private neighborhood. I don't know even where I am. After doing some different photo location scouting throughout all of Monterey, we've decided that this private neighborhood is the best area. So we got in because I said that I'm working for Cadillac shooting the car, which is the dead truth. We got the car from Cadillac and I'm shooting it professionally. So uh, yeah, that's how we ended up here. Beautiful scenery around. Uh, but right now, I think there's some more important car spotting to go do. So back in the truck. All right, so this is the first big car of Monterey and I'm excited to share with you guys all the cones and uh, signs that they laid out for us. So uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna get great pictures of this thing. Thanks, Quail. Another great year. But hey, at least it's a Huayra Roadster. That's something, right? It's a right. cool car, Chris. It is very cool. All right, this is it, the brand new Kagani Huayra Roadster. I just saw this car actually in my last video, which was on Saturday in Newport Beach. So this car got to Car Week uh, faster than I did, probably because it was transported overnight. So it is the first US spec Huayra Roadster. You could tell by the reflectors front and back. And I like the way that they did the paint accenting. You could see the white along the taillights. It has different, uh, different bits here and there. So yeah, it looks very nice. Look at that exhaust. For me personally, with this car, I like the way that they did the white paint accenting around. It's a beautiful shade of blue, of course. It has silver wheels, white brakes, and that interior is very, very special. Let's see if you could see it a little bit better there. But yeah, look at the back of the Huayra Roadster. That's probably the most unique part about this car is the way it's formed there. I think it's beautiful. Looks much better with the roof off, of course. All right, we gotta say bye to the Huayra Roadster because there is a Mercedes CLK GTR, or so we think, that's being uh, unloaded right now. So let's go try and catch that. The fun of car week is running around. You see, this is why I love Monterey. We just went through a casual drive through the town and all of a sudden, Guards Red GT2 RS. All right, now we all know about this car. I, I hope so, at least. If you guys saw my last video, you would know about this car. But anyway, this is the 997 variant of the GT3 and Turbo Mix. So it's a very fast car on the rear wheel drive platform. I think it looks beautiful, but what do you guys think? What color would you go for your GT2 RS? But this red on red, I mean, look at that. Pretty much perfect. Okay, quick change of plans. We just saw that GT2 RS and now we're heading over to the polo fields. So the polo fields are these massive open fields and you'll see uh, in a minute exactly what they do. What? That's sick. Look at this. Bingo Sports 2002 GT. Wow. That is pretty Look cool. Look at wow, that. Sick. The Koenigsegg, go that way. Really? There's a cool car hey. behind you.
Continuing with the car spotting theme of the day, we are headed into the house right now where the owner has kindly invited us in to come check out all the cars on his driveway. So I'll show you guys a quick uh, driveway tour. Let's go check it out. So to start, we have the Ferrari 275 GTV. Very beautiful car. I love the way that the headlight covers are integrated there. Looks super nice. Definitely one of the uh, better classic Ferraris out there. A 67 GTV4. We have the F40, and then of course the infamous P1 GTR. This F40 looks super beautiful. Red on red is pretty rare when it comes to F40s, so it's nice to see that this one has the red seats as well. I would give a arm and a leg to drive something like this. <laughs> F12 TDF looking very nice. I like how the wheels, calipers, and all that is all one color. I think it looks pretty clean. So the P1 GTR is only a track car, meaning it's not really meant for the street at all, but this yellow one is one of the very few in America that can actually and fully legally drive on the road. So I'll show you a little bit more of this car and some special features with this one. This P1 actually has a very rare option considering it's the only one fitted to this car with full power down windows. So that's right, you could be cruising on PCH and be like, hey, I want to listen to the car more, roll the windows down. But it will set you back around $75,000. It's pretty special to see a McLaren P1 race car on road tires that's driven on the public road. I really don't think it gets cooler than this. I mean, just look at the wing and exhaust. Like, look at that coloration. Oh, it's nuts. This car is too cool. I never get sick and tired of seeing P1 GTRs. Take a look at the inside of the P1 GTR. The steering wheel is straight off of a Formula One race car. The way that it doesn't have any uh, top or bottom part and it's just, all you do is you hold on to this side, the other side, and that's it. So the steering lock is much tighter than on a standard road car. All the crazy engineering in the back, it's just pure carbon fiber and hoses and dials, everything that you need only to drive the car and nothing else really. I mean, look at all this carbon, guys. The entire door section has all sorts of types of carbon. We have matte carbon, shiny carbon, and of course the structural carbon is different. There's five different types of carbon fiber built within the P1. This thing is just science fiction on wheels. Whoa. Moving on. All right, and just as promised, here we are, the two Bugattis that BC has brought. This is the Bugatti EB110 and his famous Veyron Supersport on the right. So uh, yeah, that's basically it. Pretty nice. I like that this car, he did uh, the wrap off of it. So I think it looks fantastic, just standard with the dark carbon and then matte white accenting. And of course, the EB110 Supersport in the all white. It's pretty rare, and uh, the car overall is a very rare car. Pretty misunderstood supercar of its time. So um, yeah, it's great to see. This is one of the key features of the EB110 is these intake here. It's pretty cool the way they did that. It has a blue interior. It's kind of hard to see that, but um, yeah, white on blue EB110. Super sport, by the way. 10 out of 10, I rate it. It is officially auction time here at Monterey. So this is the one of the mini auctions out here, Mecham, and we're gonna go inside and get a little preview of the cars that they have for auction. All right, so now I'm inside Mecham Auctions and they have a list of cars for sale and for auction here. So inside this booth, these are all the featured cars that they're gonna have. So let's start a little tour and I'll show you guys around. So the Veyron available is a Vitesse, meaning it's the super sport version of the Bugatti Veyron, but it doesn't have the uh, full roof, meaning that this piece can come off and you can go about 250, 260 miles an hour with this piece off of the car. This Veyron used to be owned by Floyd Mayweather from the Money Team, so the famous boxer, but I'm not really sure he had the blue calipers done right. I would not do that, Floyd. Bad on you for doing blue on a black and orange car. Next up is the legendary Ferrari Enzo. This is one of the greatest cars ever to come from Ferrari. And in my opinion, it's my third favorite car out there. So it really needs no introduction. You know the car, you know the history behind it. It's just fantastic. A rather interesting car that they have here for auction is this McLaren 12C High Sport. So uh, the 12C, of course, was McLaren's first introduction to their new car series, I think in around 2010, 2011. And of that, they made a special edition called the High Sport. There's only 10 in existence. This is one of them. So yeah, it's, it's pretty rare. 
It's also a very wacky color. This is all paint done from MSO, so it's supposed to look like one of the older racing liveries that McLaren has. And in that regards, I think it looks pretty cool. But um, it's, it's not what I would personally get for my own taste. That's for sure. I do like this. That's very nice. I mean, no offense, McLaren, but it looks like you were looking at a 4G Auto book and you decided to go for that. Come on, guys. This is uh, a little bit ricer. Oh man, look at the license plate frame. It's even 12C High Sport McLaren. Look at that, custom frame for the car. I do like all the airbrushing though. I mean, I do, it's not a style I would go for, but I can appreciate how well it's done by MSO, especially on a modern car. Like that, that takes a lot of skill to do. So respect to McLaren for that one. Oh wow, look at this interior. <laughs> this is fantastic. All the carbon has been, it looks like, painted in that similar shade of uh, like a reddish orange almost. So that's rather unique. Comes with a fire extinguisher as well. I'd say out of all the three hybrid hypercars, the McLaren P1 is my favorite. There's just something about the aesthetic looks of this car, especially in this beautiful silver. There's no way this silver is a standard color for McLaren. This has got to be MSO. Just look at all the different paint flakes in here. Oh, and there's a little fly right there. Get off of the P1, mate. He likes the color too, apparently. We also have a rather basic 911R over here, although it, I do like it in black a lot more than white. And then a 360 Challenge Stradale in black with red interior. This is a ageless car going up in value very much, and it has an Alcantara steering wheel. That one's for you, Stradman. All right, you guys will not believe what we found here in the Mecham auction lot. Check out this Range Rover. This is all sorts of colors. Of course, uh, you could really, you know, you just have to see it to believe it. But what I didn't know is this is actually painted factory from Land Rover. Um, like, why? <laughs> Look at this. This is all done at factory, chameleon style paint. Pretty nuts. Pretty nuts. You can see in the back, well, actually, you can't see, but there's some tray tables right there. It's probably rather nice. Look at the roof. Multicolor. Oh, it's an autobiography. Okay. It's been long time no see with this Carrera RS and this other yellow GT2 over here. Uh, throwback to when we were in Texas with James the Stradman, and we got to shoot this car and that other uh, white Carrera RS. So that was fun. Need to come back to Texas one of these days. Gorgeous LFA here. There's only 12 brand new LFAs in the country left, so I would buy certainly a whole bunch of them if I could. This is rather strange. It's a Porsche Boxster with a aftermarket hardtop roof. So um, I don't really know why you would get a hardtop roof when you could get the Cayman, which is literally the same model, uh, but with a hardtop roof. So I don't know. I thought that was worth mentioning. And we have a 911R Tribute over here. Still cool. Still cool. All right, everyone. Well, I think that's going to do it for day one. So thank you all for watching. Please make sure to watch tomorrow's video. Like and subscribe this one as well. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow.